LeBron copies the forbidden arts of Giannis and Dwight by throwing the ball off an opposing player's head. This time it happens in the second quarter with 10 minutes left, T-Wolves up 59-47, and the King is being guarded by Jared Vanderbilt, a very good defender. But I don't think the interception he's gonna get will be intentional. LeBron surveys his surroundings, keeping his plans on the low. He eventually stops surveying. And at the same time, Anthony Davis comes out, which attracts Beverly and Towns. So LeBron is thinking of passing it to the corner for an Ellington triple, which Beverly already notices and starts going back to. But Bron at this point is thinking of getting rid of the ball as fast as possible, and tries the no-look pass, but it's not accurate and ends up hitting Vanderbilt's head. And it takes a little bit for the pain and realization to step in for Vanderbilt. Boom! A few frames over here, then... Ow, shit! Here's a few notable reactions. Anthony Davis is like, Oh, the pass isn't going here. Malik Beasley is the first to react outside of Vanderbilt. He goes after the loose ball almost like he was expecting it. He does make it worthwhile for Vanderbilt though by dunking the ball. Then he hugs LeBron to thank him for the soccer assist. This would be a sick play in soccer though. The head interception into a goal? LeBron walks back to the bench in the timeout. Yeah, that could have probably went better for me. And cameraman, don't disrespect me again with this clear camera shot of my thinning here. Let's move on to Patrick Beverly now, the focus of this heroic epic. We start with this random deflection that gets this ref, number 17, distracted. Meanwhile, this random guy, he could be team staff or a fan, I don't know. He's looking at his phone, and as the ref runs down the court, he's looking at the play. Meanwhile, the person had a head start. He looked up early, but didn't stop until it was too late. Side note, this is definitely the type of clip old people would use to ridicule young people. Like, this represents society. Anyway, the ref stumbles, circles around, and falls the most ref way possible. Like the slow mechanical movements. And Patrick Beverly can't wait anymore. He takes action and saves the ref from embarrassment, picks him up, and the ref is like, oh, thank you, pats him on the back. And Pat also gets past half court to avoid the 8 second violation. What a conclusion. Good guy, Pat. I mean, I know at least one guy in this building who has bad experiences with Pat, but that was a genuine good action. Speaking of that guy with bad experiences with Pat, Pat goes on to bully Rondo in the post and gets a tech for talking shit and rocks the baby to mock Russ. I mean, he earned it though, since the Timberwolves were blowing out the Lakers. Great win for them. Meanwhile, a devastating loss for the Lakers who not only lost the game, but also Anthony Davis for at least a month because of a torn MCL. Get better soon, AD. Subscribe or LeBron will throw a ball at your head. This video is a wrap.